Invincible Hero into the hands of Carl Deasy. He gets his Akai. I mean, it's a beautiful draft here from both of these teams, both looking to get a win against each other as we go into the second match here at the Land of Dawn. Falcons Esports on blue side, Liquid Echo on red. I'm expecting things to get exciting at level four, but immediately Sanji losing out uh, his... Oh. Whoa, okay, a flicker coming in from Kidex as well. That is rather strange. I guess maybe he had an opportunity? What you call a face check? Ah, uh, that <laughs> is called a face check. I mean, Sanji's missing his Purify. Oh, so he did force it to trigger, and that's about a minute until Sanji gets it back, and this is, oddly enough, uh, Sanji forced to respond. He's forced to just hunker down and get his EXP. He doesn't want to go home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I think at this point of time, there's just... It, it's too much of a sacrifice to get a TKO so early on into this match, but he does find the trade back. Bang! Can they break the passive? Oh, beautiful stuff. They know. Kid X jumping in, catches JP, and Sanji... Hitting the basics and the skills. Oh, this is so rough. This is so rough. From what previously I thought that Liquid Echo, man, without that mid lane, maybe they lose Lithal Wanderer. Luckily, Carl is able to win out on that retry. But even worse, so having to recall for the side of PX7 and missing out an entire wave on top of that, he's going to be a full level behind eventually. Yep, so what Falcon Esports looked to start against Sanji claps back against him. Sanji holding his ground here. And the jump by Kid X! Could this be it? Oh, the bouncing ball keeping him stationary. Oh, the Burmese drop first blood. Oh, man. It looks like Sanji is uh, a little uncomfortable dealing with this uh, with Kid X right now on this Kufra. It ha to be fair, it has been a while since we see Kufra come back into these types of games. We've seen only one other time beforehand that Kufra came into play professionally here at MSC. But for the most part of it, Liquid Echo, they got a code switch here. Yep. Now we have the turtle up. Carl Easy holding his ground. Kid X looking for an angle. In retry range. Carl Easy gonna go ahead and get it. Heavy spin on a Kid X, keeping him in the place. Sanford gets a kill. And Royal Milk can only watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take the freebies while you still can. Good thing that Liquid Echo is keeping a timer on the battle spells. Kid X still two seconds off until he gets it. At the same time, we do see the Ling has been roaming around the map, making sure that he's picking up as much gold as possible. It's really important that you don't lose pressure off of your EXP and as well as your mid lane, because that could result in losing a purple buff. And, I mean, Ling and purple buff, they go hand in hand. That's so Dax. Uh, even if he wasn't playing a Ling, this is the tempo he would like to go at. Uh, up until when he's ready, that's when he's gonna snap the finger, put on the kill switch, and say it's go time. I'm assuming maybe at least two core items for him, two solid items for the link before he actually joins anything, and he's far off, man. Mm -hmm. Far off. He's pretty far off. It's gonna take some time. I think this is gonna be a slow burner for the most part of it, yeah. unless, you know, we see Liquid Echo kind of, like, break up apart, but notice them, right? They're moving in kill squads. They're making sure they don't give opportunities, and oh. Oh, nice dodge. Benny Cutie smelt something in his midst and he lets go look at that aggressive first built sky piercer yep he loves doing this right he doesn't deviate too much from his build the majority of the time he usually has two go-to's but as of right now i think the biggest concern is whether oh all right does he get it px7 gets hit with a stolen ult the jump in once more from kid x hyperactive this roamer from falcon esports carl Deasy catches a freeze from a px7 in mid Oh, I think what they're doing is they're forcing a response from Dax here. The pull! Divine Judgment! Benny Cutie scores a kill on a Kid X. Yeah, I think as of right now, the rotations coming in from Falcon Esports needs a little bit of foresight, right? I like what they're doing. They're kind of like compromising that mid lane, forcing Sanji to not really walk out of it. But the side lanes are coming at a big cost, right? Benny Cutie is a full level ahead at this point of time. And I think that he has a slight gold lead at this point of time. Top side ends up missing two minions on that rotation down to the mid. And I think at this point, Falcon Esports really need to consider how exactly do we approach this? Do we take JP out first and then consider going for more or do they keep targeting Sanji? Oh, here we go. I'm offended. Putting Sanford in trouble. Forced to flicker out. There's the Primal Wrath. Lord still standing. Kid X gonna go down here. Now, ah, unless Benny Cutie finds Sue in the west. Down goes one. Kid X taken out. There's the passive on a PX7. Benny Cutie eventually finds his prey. The fight continues. Liquid Echo, starting Turtle Pit, and all the way right into Falcon Esports Jungle. Yeah, I mean, they're running real fast. Let's look at the replay one more time, because they committed so much onto Sanford and was not able to find that kill. As soon as they're out of resources, that's when you see the clap 
back. I mean, Falcon Esports, it's at this point of time, they need to kind of slow their roll a little bit. Yes, you can use your resources ag oh, aggressively, like JP flicking Ooh. forward, but for the most part of it, you're going to need at least two, like you mentioned, two items before they get some real profit. Yep, so he's got the Berserker's Fury, but something tells me Falcon Esports, they're not happy with the pace that Dash is farming at. Like, they, they want him to double time. They want him to hustle. Uh, looking at their net worth and their items so far, it seems like it's Benny who's just on schedule. It's just Benny who's been farming up relatively carefree compared to everyone else. And I'm not so sure that's the insurance policy they're looking for. Yeah, I mean, considering that Benny QT was able to join that fight, pick up two kills, and an assist on top of that, like... going to come back. Ah, uh, well, we'll see. Because right now, even when we're comparing EXP, like, Akai is pretty huge, and this is the influence we're talking about. Yeah. Carl TZ now look at this asserting dominance. I dare you, Dax. I dare you. You want this purple buff? Come take it. He can't. Carl TZ stole it away. Grand Theft Purple. Carl has two stars. And that's why. That's why considered to be world's greatest jungler of all time. It's so brutal. It's so brutal what Liquid Echo is just doing to Falcon Esports, right? It's not like game one where it was about tempo. Now it's about, hey, we've already gotten through the early phase of this game. The real question is how many mistakes is Falcon Esports going to make? And it's less about them just tripping up. Liquid Echo are dropping banana peels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aggressively so. Like, all right, put it here, put it here, put it here. Th th that turtle, uh, the purple fight, right? That was clearly a, a, a ego check by Carl Dean and say, you're going to have to do better than that. And again, this is an Akai. He can just click heavy spin whenever he's ready. Speaking of, it's off of cooldown. I don't think there's much they can do here to secure this turtle unless... Oop, clean take. Very yeah, clean Liquid take. Echo wants, uh, wants to force Falcon out of here. Uh, I don't think Carl, I guess he's just looking for more information here, right? He does notice where PX7 is, and I think, you know, Carl TZ is at a point, <laughs> at a point where he is just pretty unkillable at this point in time. They don't have a dedicated tank buster as well, and I don't think Benny has enough items to really take him down. Hopefully the idleness pops, pops up, because I'm assuming that Carl TZ is going to opt for some kind of MR. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. MR on the way, right? He actually bum-rushed the, uh... The blade, blade armor. armor. Yeah. Because right? he's prepping up for Royal Milks, basic attacks. He's prepping up for Dax just in case. Doesn't need it anyways, right? Now they continue. They choke out the purple. The I'm offended coming in from Royal Milk. The jump in from Kid X, but PX7 falls first. And now it's going sideways. Double kill for the Typhoon. Benny Cutie. It's storming out here in Riyadh. Ooh. Triple kill for Benny, and they convert into a mid lane tier two off camera though. We see Benny pushing out, can Kyle find him? Oh, yes, he does! Gets no. the basic, recalls for good measure. Where you going, little boy? No. Oh, Benny, he's gonna be fine though, he's all right. I mean, but they're losing so much tempo oh, off oh, of this, oh. right? Look at this, now Liquid Echo can start moving around the map freely. The next wave that comes in, Benny has to completely sacrifice this. Yep. And without that recall, now he has nowhere on the map where he can like find that farm. And look, they faked him out so hard, they're just letting the minions do the work. That's right, they undid his hard work. Here's a quick look at uh, the uh, replay. Honestly, in such a small piece of the map, again, this is just the purple jungle for Falcon Esports, so many things happened. Mm -hmm. Like, there were so many little fights that Benny Cutie had to keep tabs on to clean up. Yeah, I think, you know, coming from Liquid Echo's perspective, it's like a two-pronged attack. It's like there's purple buff, which is super important for Dax, but all of a sudden PX7 is out of position because of that. And that's why I'm saying, how many mistakes positionally can you make from the side of Falcon Esports when you want that traditional front to back and you get hit from two sides, especially now that the mid-tier one has been opened up and even the mid-tier two already cracked open. At this point, Liquid Echo can basically walk around effectively and force Falcon Esports into these forced errors and look at that off camera we didn't even have to see it much happening they did more than just blitz it they casually took the lord scored here by liquid echo now look at the item gap between these heroes lane per lane a thousand between the ling and the akai is much more miserable when you think that Damage hero, uh, damage items are more expensive than tank items. Mm -hmm. Totally agree with that. But at the same time, right? Keep in mind that Dax is one of the only people who can actually extend this game. A missed time offender coming in from Royal Milk, good attempt. But yeah, hopefully Dax is able to continuously proxy these waves to stall things out because right now it's almost a 10k gold lead on the very first Lord. Yep. Uh... Talking about that proxying, luckily, Liquid Echo does not have the likes of a Chip or a Moskov. Mm. So their responses are actually 
all in responses. They have to commit. And what was Please. that? A forced flicker on Kid X. Oh, he walked into a lethal bush. Now Benny gonna go hunting. Chases him down. Forces a concealed play. Now Kid X coming in with the jump. The full combo, revenge and rage, and Benny Kid is gonna casually scratch away. These are not atypical mistakes made by Falcon Esports. I don't know. It feels like they might have been a little tilted from game number one because this game pretty much feels pretty. Uh, honestly, it feels pretty over for them, right? Scattered. It's. Uh, I don't see an angle. Yeah. Oh, divine judgment on Royal Milk. He's expired in mid. They're gonna jump in the heavy spin, up and change PX7 zip code, send him straight through, popping his passive, oh. and taken down. Here it comes. Dax, Tempest of Blades right in, trying to clear the waves. They're down two men. This is dangerous. It's very dangerous. And honestly, something's telling me that Sanji in the in his past life was an EXP laner and only played Ruby or some sort, because he is just hitting every single stolen. and I'm offended. He was once a jungler. Not much I've learned from interviews, but I don't know about EXP laners. I mean, I, I don't know. He doesn't seem to miss every single I'm Offended has been, like, uh, extending their lead or just game-breaking. That's what ended the last game. Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to continue into this one, right? At this point, I, I don't see a foreseeable future for Falcon Esports to bounce back unless we see Liquid e Echo make a huge mistake. And even then, I feel like they could stat-check Falcon Esports for the most part, even if it is the penultimate play. Yeah, that's what makes these utility jungler based lineups work so well. They're so well-rounded. They're not a coin flip from assassins where, all right, I made the wrong entry or I didn't burst down the right person. You can find re-engages and they come relatively cheap. I mean, sure, you have to wait uh, close to a minute when you flub the heavy spin, but that aside, you have so many safe angles to attack from. 20 seconds until this next Lord comes up. Yeah, Dax is close to it, but I don't think he's looking to contest. He's just looking to extend the life that they have here in this game. Oh, oh my goodness, he's about to get one oh, shot. No. Oh, oh no. he doesn't get the like and bounce. Wall from wall. Dax run. Dax finally lands. Not enough energy to go. Tempest of Blades through. Gonna get this sword. Get a few hits. He's burning. Oh! He's burning. It's hot. He's burning. He survives. Cyclone Eye out. Kid X trying to go oh. put up the wall through. But Benny Cutie jumps in. Tracking. Dax taking him down. Now it's Kid X turn to get punished. Double kill for Benny Cutie. Wall the swall. Carl Deasy was taking the Lord. How many stacks does this young man have on his spear, sir? Oh, that's got to be so upsetting. Kid X walks out, tries to conceal his boy Dax so that they can both freely walk away with the extra movement speed. They saw the conceal being used by Liquid Echo, so they had no real means to catch up. And now, Benny QT has been just taking all of these kills, 8-0 and 3, and has a GDS. This man is living in the future. He's running on all fours. Even in human form, it looks like he's in lichen form. That's how fast he is. Another flicker and a divine judgment. Royal Mill taken out by Sanji. The one and two, the alley-oop. Forcing out Tempest of Blades here from Dax. Put in Lord here, at a quarter of a tail, the tenth of a tail, taken down. They're alive, but barely breathing. Turret taken down in mid, top lane as well. It's a bear base left for the Burmese. Are they gonna be a match point? Liquid Echo going in with a stampede. Betty's gonna try to defend, but it's over. 2-0.